With the all new color range gradients inside On One Photo Raw, you can now apply adjustments to specific colors in your image while still maintaining the shape of your gradients. They use the latest in color selection technology to ensure that your masks and adjustments are applied directly to whatever color you want them to be. So if we're modifying an image like this one, and we need to apply an adjustment specifically to the background of our subject here, we can use a color range gradient to do that. So I'm going to head over to my local adjustments tab. I'm going to use this local adjustment layer here to darken this blue area behind the giraffe. So I'm just going to hold down shift and hit K on my keyboard. That's going to grab me my adjustable gradient tool. Then I'm going to head up and make sure my shape is set to gradient. Then I'm just going to drop this down. I'll flip it around with this small handle to make sure that it's only applied to the top area of my image. And then I can feather it a bit so that it blends in naturally. If I view my mask here, I can see that it's applied this mask already. But I only want it applied to the blue, so I'm going to head up and choose this all new color range option. And then I'll head over to my masking options, and I'll choose this color dropper here to select this blue color behind the giraffe. Now if I go over and I view my mask, I can pull back on the color range here. And it's only going to apply this adjustment to the top area, and it's only going to apply it to that blue color that I chose. So now if I view my adjustment, and I turn this off and on, it does a great job of just darkening this area behind the giraffe and leaving the giraffe alone. But it's a little bit too intense behind the giraffe here, so let's just pull back on the opacity a bit until it looks more natural. Using color range gradients, you can also spotlight areas on your image and make them pop with color. For example, in this image, if I want to make all of the yellow pop on this bee here, I can use a color range gradient to specifically apply that adjustment in this area. So let's head over to the adjustment here, and I'm going to increase the vibrance by selecting this vibrance preset. Then I'm going to boost the saturation a bit, and I'll boost the midtones just a hair. Now I want this adjustment only applied to this B here. So I'm going to hold down shift and hit K on my keyboard to grab me my adjustable gradient tool. Then I'm going to head up and choose my shape and I'm going to choose edges. And that's going to protect the edges of my mask from the adjustment. So if I drop this down now, you can see it's only applying this adjustment inside of my mask. So let's fine tune this a bit to fit the B better. Just like that. But I only want it applied to the yellow on the B. So let's go up and turn on the color range option here. Then I'll head over and I'll view my mask. I'll use the color dropper tool and I'll drop it on this area of yellow. Now I can view the mask here. I'll pull up on the color range just before it starts applying the adjustment around the B. And if I view my photograph, I can turn this adjustment off and on now. And you can see it's really making these yellows pop in the bee.